How to manage bedwetting in college. Starting college is a very exciting time for many people. However, if you suffer from a bedwetting problem, you may be anxious about having roommates and sharing a living space. There are many ways to treat bedwetting, including medication and behavioral training. However, for some people, bedwetting may be a side effect of an underlying medical condition. Talk to your doctor about ways to identify the problem and find a treatment plan that works for you. With a little bit of planning and preparation, you can break your bedwetting problem before you move into the dorms for your first semester. Trying behavioral training. Limit your fluid intake. The simplest solution to reducing incontinence is to reduce or limit how much you drink. While you should always drink enough water throughout the day to stay healthy, you can consolidate your fluid intake and time it so that your bladder is not as full at night. Try to consume most of your fluids in the morning and early afternoon so that your bladder will be less full when you go to sleep at night. Never restrict your fluid intake to the point of dehydration. If you feel thirsty or if your urine is dark in color, drink water. Reduce or eliminate caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine and alcohol both act as diuretics, which increase your need to urinate. If you must consume caffeine, try to limit your consumption to the morning and early afternoon. Do not eat or drink anything containing caffeine beginning at dinner time so that any caffeine in your system has passed by bedtime. Avoid all caffeine consumption in the evening, as this can increase the chances of bedwetting and also affect your ability to sleep at night. Try to urinate throughout the day. Some people avoid using the restroom during the day, either because it's inconvenient or because they don't realize they have to go. By forcing yourself to urinate at regular intervals, though, you may be able to reduce your need to urinate at night. Most people urinate an average of 6 to 7 times within a 24-hour period. 4. Training your body to urinate every 2 to 3 hours throughout the day can help get your body more used to passing urine during waking hours. Urinate twice before you go to sleep. In addition to urinating more during the day, some experts recommend what's called a double voiding before you go to bed. This entails urinating once when you start your bedtime routine, brushing your teeth, putting on your pajamas, etc., and again just before you fall asleep. Double voiding may be particularly effective when combined with a restricted fluid intake and more frequent daytime urinations. Wear a bedwetting alarm. Bedwetting alarms are equipped with a sensor that detects moisture in your underwear. When the sensor activates it sets off an alarm or a silent vibrational signal to wake you up. You can purchase bedwetting alarms online or through a medical distribution store in your community. While a bedwetting alarm may not be much help at preventing accidents early on, they will help train your bladder over time. With continued use, your body will be able to recognize the signs of a full bladder and wake you up before you have an accident. If you use a bedwetting alarm that makes an audible sound, you may have to explain to your roommate, if you have one, what the sound is. It may be easier to remain discreet if you use the vibrating alarm, as this will not produce an audible sound. 